In honor of Women's History Month, we're featuring the first woman president to lead the prestigious Cal Poly Pomona, Dr. Soraya Coley. She's here to tell us uh, what she'd like to do with the school, where she'd like to take it. Welcome. Well, first of all, thank you very much. You know, we were just here in Pasadena January 1st because yes, the you day, were your first place, day. That's I exactly believe. right. Yes. We, along with um, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, we have the joint float and our students' uh, student built float and they won an award. So, so they threw you a parade for your first day. What could I say? What kind of welcome, In huh? fact, they just honored me Saturday night as a Rookie of the Year for the Rose Float Program. Oh, so I nice. had a chance to participate. But no, uh, Cal Poly Pomona is uh, just a vibrant, inclusive mm -hmm. campus. We're among the most diverse in the nation, and we have so many initiatives aimed at helping students to be successful. Um, we have, uh, just last night, we had a program that brought um, school-age uh, women to the campus to increase, along with their parents, to increase their knowledge of engineering oh, because we're trying to diversify that was actually fields. something in the women's report yes in the, in yes the study. Mm -hmm. and so we have to start a lot sooner mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, as you know we have an agricultural program with food science uh, is that what um, makes a, a polytechnic different from a regular university yes it really looks at the broad range of um, the sciences uh, the social sciences Sciences. And the thing that I think really distinguishes us is this learn by doing philosophy. So we really encourage students to um, not only um, have a wonderful academic experience in the context of the classroom, but also in the fields, in the labs, and they work with faculty who are deeply committed. Um, in fact, tomorrow um, I'll be uh, welcoming students who participated with um, faculty on research projects. And so there's an expectation that you graduate with experience. So do you see these students going into the workforce a little easier than maybe some of the other universities? Well, we've heard that from um, our partner employers. What we've heard is that oftentimes our students have an additional measure of experience. They are able to articulate not only the theory and the conceptual uh, frameworks of the of the discipline, but they're also able to say, and I tried such and such. It's because so a lot of people are, have the hands on. Yeah, yeah. They're, you know, a lot of folks are starting to feel like maybe college is not worth the price yes. that we pay. It's really difficult for me to hire somebody who doesn't have some kind of hands on experience. Right. Because you're teaching them from the ground up, sure. whereas if they have some experience right. in the field or on right. the job site or in right. their area of expertise. And that's really why gives uh, them a plus. Exactly. And internships and other kinds of summer programs. Uh, for example, we have a hospitality management program. And so we have students who are going to um, uh, Europe this summer to study. Can I go? Sure. <laughs> I, that's, I <laughs> asked them if I could. Did yeah, they need a, a president <laughs> to go along? You know. Yeah. But uh, you know, they they will go and they will uh, look at international cuisine. We have students who are I'm going to go. Definitely going on. Yes. That's yes. sounding better and better. It but is you know, you've been, you're, you're receiving a Trailblazer Award next mm -hmm. month. Uh, you know, you have these titles of first woman president mm -hmm. and um, African American. Do these titles mean something to you, or or do do you feel like you know they're distracting from the job that you have? No, it's have. very important. And the Trailblazer Award, I'm so pleased to be sharing that with the other um, female uh, CSU presidents. Um, and the way I look at that is that if somehow or another my story opens the doors or helps people to see that there are opportunities, you know, one of the things that I think um, I grew up in North Carolina. And my family always said that to whom much is given, much is expected. And so I see literally that my aim is to open opportunities to make sure that people who are wondering whether or not they can. I mean, I never imagined being a it's college amazing. president, it's amazing. but the mentors and the opportunities. And so I become a symbol of what can happen. Thank you Absolutely. so much for being yes. here. We're so pleased to thank have you, you very share much. your story. In the presence of a trailblazer. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. much. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, Wonder Woman is back. The segment star Shirley Hussar brings the latest from Wonder Woman Tech Conference at the CN, in the CN, CCN, CCN Sunrise segment. <laughs> Coming back.